Salutations. So today I'm going to be sharing something quite interesting. They call it the parallax effect. So now here I have dragged in a photo of a shark. Since we all love sharks. Who's part of the shark gang? Right, so now I have increased the zoom to 1.2. I'm going to hold Alt and drag the image up to duplicate it. I'm going to pull it over to the side there and I'm going to go into the color. Mm, yes, tab. And here I'm going to go to the window and the pen. So now. I am going to outline this shark. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just needs to be close enough. But if you want to make it perfect, it's all up to you. So this is basically like almost like giving a flat photo an optical illusion of movement which is quite cool Oops, that one is a bit skewed there we are oh i should have worn my glasses for this so you tag all along your subject which is in this case a most beautiful subject and you just go along the edge along the edge until you get to where you started uh started again almost there folks almost there so there we are now we're going to right click over here and we're going to add an alpha output then we're going to connect this node to the alpha output and that's what we get then we move over to the softness um, part of our transformation tab and we just increase it a little bit huh? uh, maybe to two two looks fine Depending on your application and so on, you might and how perfectly you you um, you trace your whatever you're tracing, man. So then, all right, there we've got our shark. Going back to the edit page, I'm gonna pull back this shark Ooh, over there. Now we're going to go in. In the front here and we are going to click on our keyframe button then we are going to move our slider to the end of the picture and we're going to increase our zoom to 1.4 then we're going to click on the bottom picture we're going to take the zoom back to 1 And we are going to click on our keyframe for zoom. Then we are going to take the slider back to the beginning of the photo and we are going to increase the zoom back to 1.2. So what that then gives you is the parallax effect so now I see there is a slight slight uh, let's do that so in my photo the the picture doesn't quite line up a hundred percent so I'm going to click on the click on the keyframe button for position 
in the top image, mind you. I'm going to move forward and then change the position ever so slightly. There we go. So now we're going to press Control and F and when I hit spacebar the parallax effect. Control and F to get back out and there you have it folks, the parallax effect. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this kind of content. I'll be happy to make more DaVinci Resolve tip videos for you guys. Okay, I guess that's that for that video. If you guys can be so kind as leave me a like, drop a comment and subscribe. I would appreciate it greatly. Let's leave you there with one last parallax effect. Shark's missing a couple of teeth, I see. Okay, bye.